back to my channel. I am in a very similar outfit. If you guys are interested in this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, I will have a tutorial about it, so stay tuned for that. Not the main point because today I have a swatch video for you guys and it's for a new palette that I just got. I pre-ordered it in February so I've been waiting for this palette and luckily I paid for it in February so I didn't have to pay for it again in this month when I got it so it's kind of like I sent myself a magical present which is very important for the palette that I'm showing you today. Keep that in mind. Obviously, I think you know what I'm talking about because Storybook Cosmetics just started sending out their Wizard and Witches palette. And I have been in love with Harry Potter for the longest time. And I obviously, as soon as I saw this palette online, I had to get my hands on it. I pre-ordered it as soon as they came out with the pre-order and I have been waiting for it ever since. So I'm very happy if you couldn't tell. I love palettes. I have way too many. I wanted to show you guys a swatch video of this palette just because it is a bunch of colors that pertain to Harry Potter even though it has no connection with Harry Potter but obviously in our heads they like they cater to the fandoms and I'm loving that because I feel like it's such a good base and I would buy more things. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'd buy so many more. So I wanted to show you guys this palette right here. When I got it in the mail, it was so nicely packaged. There was bubble things so that it didn't break and it had this really cute like light, light blue box. And it was just really well packaged. It was really well packaged for a new company to send out. So I'm really amazed by that. And it shows they're putting a lot of love and care into their packaging just so that all their customers are well taken care of. And I appreciate that completely because I've had things break in the mail and it does not make me happy. So I'm gonna show you how I got it in the mail first and foremost. And I'm not gonna show you the box cause I kind of left it at work, but I'll show you how it came inside the bag or inside the box. So inside the box, it came in this little drawstring duster bag, which I thought was really cute and it's a really great detail. So it's got their logo on the front and it's this big S with Storybook Cosmetics right here on the front. So I thought this is great. Obviously, if you wanna travel with this, you can, you're can you welcome to do this or you can just reuse this bag. So great little detail for a palette that cost, I think it was like, it was between 50 and $60. So. You're still spending a lot, but as, as a Harry Potter fan, I'm willing to spend a lot more on Harry Potter. <laughs> so it came in this bag right here. It came with this little bookmark. I always like dog ear pages and I hate when I see it like that, but I do it anyways. So I'm gonna get some use out of this cause I, I need to use it. And on the back it says, once upon a time there were three sisters who never stopped believing in fairy tales and they all lived happily ever after. Thank you so much for ordering. We truly appreciate your business, Mandy, Missy, and Erin. So that's super cute to add along just as a little like reminder of what the company is and where this palette came from. So getting into the palette, you reach into the bag, duster comes off and it's this, it's a fairly thick book. And it comes with a little duster jacket, so you push it out, and it honestly looks like a book. It's got like pages on the side, kind of the, the book binding right here with their decal again, and then it says wizardry and witchcraft, and this is the palette. It comes with 12 shades. It comes with 12 shades, this really huge mirror, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna give you close-up swatches, but just in case you're wondering, this is what the palette looks like on the inside. My hair looks like a mess. <laughs> you get 12 shades. I think you have you have five matte shades and then you have a mix of seven shimmers and metallics.
They're really beautiful shades. The only two that I think I have the problem, the biggest problem with, just because they are a little bit chalky, are Prophecy, this lighter white shade right here, and this kind of peachy, this peachy shade right here, Charmed. Charms? Charms. And I feel like this one, it can be hit or miss. Sometimes I feel like it's chalky. Sometimes I'm just like, am I not blending it perfectly, perfectly or well enough? So... I mean, these are the only two shades that I think are a little bit chalky for my taste, but the rest of them are so smooth. Obviously, these are my first impressions of this. If you guys are looking for a makeup tutorial coming from this palette, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because I am working on some book lady tutorials for you guys from this, from, from this palette. And I'm excited to share those with you because I have a little mini book lady series coming and I obviously obviously it's Harry Potter themed so if you're into Harry Potter or you just want to see how these eyeshadows perform on a little bit darker skin tone make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that I am working on them currently so do not worry they are coming but this is how the palette looks I would say it's roughly an inch and a half thickness wise the pans are only 1.234 grams of products so they're probably they're not that big but for how thick this is I'm I just got back from a really long trip and I do not think that I would be able to travel with this even though I do like how the si like the size of the mirror but this in general this length thought or like this size width wise is gonna take up so much space in my bag and this is if I was taking this then I'd have to get rid of a book that I would actually want to read so as much as I love the look of this, I wish it was a little bit thinner, and that's really just my preference. Even though I really do like the packaging, I wish that it was a little bit thinner so that it was easier for me to carry around and I can take it to travel with because these shadows are really beautiful. And I cannot wait to play some more with this palette because it's beautiful. And I'm just excited. I love this palette already. And I think it's so pretty and I'm really happy to be adding it to my collection. But I just need to play with it. I think I've played with it once so far. So I really can't give you an opinion on that. But if you guys are interested in a bigger review on that, let me know down below. I can always get one up on my blog for you guys. But if you guys are wanting to see how these work on my lids, make sure you stay tuned because I am going to have a couple tutorials using this palette specifically out for you guys because Harry Potter deserves all the love in the world. I'm such a Harry Potter fan. I feel like you know that. But... Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys are not part of the family already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you to join the family because I just wanted to get bigger so we can all become like book lovers and series lovers and just we're happy together. But I just want to see you guys interconnected. Friendships. We're going to build friendships on this channel. So thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to see more from me or just get in contact with me, make sure you hit up my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and we can talk, we can hang out, and you can see my everyday life kind of. Thank you guys again for stopping by. I will see you guys later. I will see you in the next video, and I love you. I'll see you guys later. Bye!